Hello and welcome back to some more to Hogenzo Wanderer. On our last episode, we managed to do some Lunar War 3 shenanigans and actually defeat Yorohimi and Toyohimi. And I guess Raisin too, but she was just kind of there. And we even got the rare drop included. That was fantastic. Now what we're going to be doing in this episode, as you can tell by the towers finishing up Mystery Houses 2's endings. There's also going to be a double upload today, so don't you worry about that. It's going to be a great day because, oh, it's going to be a lot finished. Anyway, I'll see you all in a bit with some more of Mystery House 2. This is going to be a lot of an edit since we've went through the dungeon from start to finish. I'm just going to try and get the endings sorted. See you all then! Okay, here we are in the boss fight, which is largely going to be the same, I would hope. The dialogue so far has pretty much been the same. I think it's just the ending that changes. You go cast and do some damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Cassa do some damage here. And then we're going to use our plates now. We're going to get blown up here, though. Yeah, we are. So we're going to take some damage from the last. That's fine. Cassin's taking some fire damage, unfortunately. But we may just have to bite the bullet for her. We do have a shower gap to avoid damage from another thing, though. So we're going to take a swift medicine. Should we just throw this to cast actually? I think we should. Or, you know, we can mess because reasons. Can we get into that shelter gap? Holy moly. Ah! Oh, we did it! Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to blow up! <sighs> you know how many times I beat her up? She just keeps coming. To be honest, this is tough. All right. Okay, so we have three choices. We only need to show two, right? Because we've already got the worst ending once before. Yeah, yeah. So we'll take her to Raisin's house, and then we'll give her the Yagokoro brand medicine next time. Yeah. So let's take her to Raisin's house, and then we'll do an edit, and then we'll show off the Yagokoro brands. I should take her to Raisin's house while I still can. With the medical technology she has, we can save her. At least I hope so. <laughs> this is going to be dark, isn't it? I do have a couple of restarts because, believe it or not, this boss fight actually was giving me some trouble until I realized, oh yeah, I have a shelter gap. That I could have used to dodge explosions. Anyway, oh, Raven, what's going on? There's a survivor, but she's very weak. She needs to be hospitalized right away. Okay, I'll call them. So I'm going to ask this ending comes from just saving her without her getting bopped. Will she be okay? I'm not sure, but let's hope so. All we can do is believe and wait. And so you're able to accomplish your quest. The ending you got was very similar to what actually happens. Right, so that's the middle ground ending. What are the rewards? Because I'm going to have to do this uh, once more time off screen just so that I can accumulate all the rewards. Not five, six. Yeah! I see a Coral Cure All. Time to give her the Yagukoro brand medicine. Hmm, I don't think this will do anything. But I guess I should give it a try. Yeah! Hope it does something. Huh? What am I? Oh, you're awake! Um, what happened? Oh, well... So that's what happened here. I was a little worried for a while there. Maybe the monster planet just exit inside me. Well, well, medicine was all you needed, so the monster couldn't have been that big of a deal. I can't really say since I was out of it. And so you were able to accomplish your quest. Except you got the happiest ending, which was far different from what actually happens! Fine! <laughs> far different. Probably the worst ending that was a eh? One wing scythe. That's radar. So we got pulsing cells from that. Well then, I'll see you all in a bit when I've done one more run here. 
because I need to get the middle ground ending again just so that I can keep those items. And then we'll have a little read of everything and then we'll build it into something. I'll see you all in a bit. Hey, why don't we add it before we actually show off the crafting? You know, probably bring it in so it's probably the best idea you can do. <laughs> She's just going to destroy everything, hopefully. Please use a best over. Best over, please. Best over. Uh, best over, come on, no! It's all. I believe. Or I can just get that! <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. And I'll see you all in a bit. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are after my gathering of the notes. So let's read them all out before we get crafting. Right, so Min Rabbit Note 1. Part of the journal uncovered after the tragedy of the ruins investigation was looked into. It's thought to be written by the last remaining Moon Rabbit of the research squad. My colleagues are being weeded out. No, it's like they die, but then they wake up and attack others. I don't want to kill any more of my friends. Note 2. I remember the archaeologist said that they all had a parasite. Apparently it weakens its host and takes over as well. It feeds and grows off its host's body without killing it. Note 3. If the host has a strong body and spirit, sometimes the parasite does not succeed in taking over its will. Luckily, it does not take over its host's will until the host dies a normal death. Note 4. And that's how it is. The moment the host dies, the parasite can take control of its body. Ultimately, it can still take over a host that has a strong body and spirit if it waits till the host dies. Note 5. In this way, those parasites have been able to move to higher leveled hosts. And that's what the researcher concluded. We discovered many of these parasite eggs in the ruins this time. Note 5. Fortunately, I have the highest marks amongst the moon rabbits and have even passed the princess's special spirit contamination program with high marks. Even if I have a parasite, I know I won't be taken over until I die. But accidents happen. If I d happen to die to s sooner than later, I want my parasite to die with me. Of course, I don't plan on dying that easily. But I'm so prepared if worse comes to worse. And then, pulsating cells. Piece of flesh extracted from the moon rabbits, who are victims of the research accident at the ruins. It is apparent that it's not from this planet. Strangely enough, it was discovered later on that a signal was being transmitted from it. After it was analyzed, I learned it seemed to have been communicating this. Tar. Sister. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Right, so next up, as we go into Max, we go over here and we make one of these. Just select like all the ingredients. And then we'll read this next thing out Elder Sister's Diary. Okay. Elder Sister, I'm sorry. And that's how it ended. As the only blood relative, I read my younger sister's research journal to the very last page. She was brilliant, but it seems luck was the only thing she wasn't blessed with. After the research accident, she was the only one to return, and I was so relieved, but she was no longer the girl I knew. But it's okay! The can't be read because it's smudged that she protected will be safeguarded by me from now on. Right, so now we can make a weapon. If we go to alchemy over here, and mix these two together. Egg chamber. Giant egg-like object found in the moon ruins. It has a budding shape as top, and its exterior isn't hard like an egg's. The one who found it died days later. Okay, so I believe there's a thing that we can make from this. And we'll do that soon enough, but let's just quickly read this shield that we have as well, because this is in relation to that rabbit that we did rescue. Doll modeled after the research squad rabbit that died from an unnatural death. It was first mass produced, but its sale was suspended due to its dark humor. This is what the Moon Rabbit doll looks like. And this is what the egg chamber looks like. Yeah! Oh, I'll swing to. Right. So let's just mix this egg chamber with a spear canon. Get to level 56. And then we go back to alchemy. And then we hopefully find something to make. Because I should have all the materials required. Yes, I do. It has to be at least level 43 plus. You need a rabbit tail and an earth watching mochi and a bright light blood to make. Facehugger. Yep, that's an alien reference if I've ever seen one. 
Mysterious creature from the egg chamber is stuck to the faces of the min rabbits on the investigation squad, putting them in a coma, then died and fell off. They seem fine. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see what it looks like now. So this is the face hugger. Oh my gosh. Hey, even as a sunfire. Let's go back to standard speed, actually, real quick. Because we might to be doing it justice. That is... I, I can't even. Wacky things of a face hugger though. Anyway, it doesn't end there, however. So now we go to shields, I believe, and alchemy. Yep, moon rabbit doll and face hugger. What does this create? Sleeping moon rabbit doll. Variation of the moon rabbit doll. Only 5,000 were made and sold. It comes with a face hugger figurine. So you can recreate its death. Wow, that is dark. Where is it? Though? I guess, I guess the figurine ain't there, but it's actually sleeping. Now I need to level this up, I believe. If I can get it. Do, 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 do. And then we just need to make the last thing. So that makes rare moon rabbit doll. Hey, she's like it happy. Now we go back into weapons. I believe, and then we can make one more thing. Which will be what well, requires a rare moon rabbit doll. And an evil grudge chain. It makes a chest buster. Matured from the parasite plant ate by the face hugger. It shot out of the chests of those moon rabbits. You already tried to kill them, but they got away. What? Oh go okay! <laughs> Alright, so I finished up my grinding session at Innocent Heart because I wanted to evolve that chest buster into its next form. And it did indeed have a next form. So it is called a Xenomorph. Oh, I know where this is from. An alien from Alien. Anyway, fully mature chest buster. Its power is incredible, wiping out many of the moon citizens. The Watatsuki sisters managed to defeat them by a great loss. You know, I'd be pretty concerned if I were a Marine seeing a Toho character walking about with this in her hands. <laughs> She's like, oh, you, you tamed it. Nah, I'm just whacking things off a Xenomorph's corpse. <laughs> Where's my queen alien now, eh? I know they're called Xenomorphs, and I was kind of redundant of me to say an alien from Alien, but let's give this thing a spin and generate a Tenketsu since we're right next to it. Because it was quite the grind to get this thing sorted out. And let's just go equip, well, equip a shield just in case. <laughs> Hello there, little chain. Okay, so that's the attack animation. Can we get some enemies to just come over here? That's nice. I want to see it downwards. See, it's just a slashing animation. Looks nice nonetheless, however. A lot of biohazard, too. Not bad. But yeah, that summarizes this weapon in a nutshell. So let's return back home. It does have a very nice passive as well. So if you want to use this thing for Xenom... Not Xenom... I was going to say Xenom Carnation. No, Reincarnation. I do recommend it because it gives Superhuman Special Plus. And it has a huge scaling on it. Look at that. You'll tear apart Biakarin, Sinai's, and the like with this weapon. And I think that's what I'll be using it for. It'll be my next reincarnation target. But anyway, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Tool Games of Wander. It's quite productive. It did take me a while to get this one all sorted out, but not as much as the next one, let's just say that. Anyhow, ta-ta for now.